so much of what we do uh, in missionary work in the Idaho Boise Mission in that area um, is uh, working with the members uh, that are there. Um, they're so good, first of all, at, at doing that, uh, at doing missionary work and, and wanting to, to spread the good things that have happened in their lives with their friends. And, uh, and so as a missionary, um, we wanted to be in touch with that. We wanted to help um, these members along um, in their quest to like extend these blessings to their friends. And so uh, there's a lot of different ways to do that. Um, a lot of things that come from the church, a lot of ideas maybe that missionaries have. But uh, in any case, um, I think a missionary has to remember that, uh, that these people, these members, are sharing something that's so precious to them with a friend that is also so precious to them. And so it's just a really delicate situation. Uh, unfortunately, I think some missionaries might overlook that and just think, oh, well, what's the matter? They're, you know, they're your friends. Let's, let's get this going. Um, and I remember talking with a, with a stake president uh, in an area that I just um, got to that week. And he said, frankly, I think a lot of the members are just turned off by some of the missionaries' kind of boldness and, and sometimes overbearing nature um, because they're not sensitive um, to these members. I think it's easy for a missionary um, who's who's just treated so well, right? E eating a whole bunch and and little kids looking up to them and getting all these things from the members and, and being revered in the community um, to think, well, then I think things should should go my way. Um, if I have an idea, like these people are kind of looking to me to as as a symbol of missionary work in this little local area. Um, maybe things should should be the way that I want them and that's usually when things go south I think as far as a, a missionary's relationship with with the members but if a missionary can can have an appropriate relationship where they seek to help instead of seeking for the to get the missionaries or the members to do things um, I think that's when they they can have a successful relationship that's when they can really be trusted to, to do this missionary work to to join these two precious things friends and and the gospel um, they can join them together and so that's something that I definitely saw in, in the field it can really break or make uh, a missionary's mission in the Idaho Boise mission is their approach to the members and, and how the members feel about the work that they do. So when I was there uh, in Boise, about 90% of the mission lived uh, in a member's home. And so whether that was you know above the garage in a separate unit or in a spare room, that's what that meant. Uh, and then uh, the other 10% rented either from a member or from you know somebody else. But but for the most part, uh, we were in members' homes, and it was it was a really awesome opportunity. I think um, if if you did things the right way, and and if you were there for the right reasons, I think uh, I remember we lived with Lady Sister Binkley. She is just the sweetest lady, and um, and and the reason I mentioned her is because she was. This was the first home I lived in. It's my first area. And, uh, and we lived in a spare room downstairs and, uh, you know, we shared the kitchen and, and, you know, by the time I was done there, I felt like one of her sons and we just, I remember having a headache and, and just kind of reclined on the couch, uh, when we were home at lunch and, and she brought me like a cup of water and an aspirin and, and, and I was like, you know, she felt like my mom, you know, the mom that wasn't there for me, that was 2000 miles away. And, uh, and so that was such a nice um, thing for her to do and, and just a good feeling for me uh, to feel at home. And, and so I think that was one of the advantages of living in members' homes is that you can feel at home even though you're away from home. And, uh, and they, can, they can spread the, the kind of trust. If they trust you in their home then, uh, and they share those kinds of stories uh, with other members of the ward, then then people start to understand that they've got a good set of missionaries that, that likes to work hard and and they're not sleeping in or they're not coming home early, things like that. I mean, those kinds of things spread really fast when you live with members. And so um, if you do things the right way and, and you have an appropriate relationship, it, um, it's one of the best experiences I had. I mean, some of the best people I met on the mission were just the families that I lived with. And, and they're so good to just let us live there for free. and. Um, 
and so it was just a lot of fun but uh but if you if you do a couple things the wrong way then then it could be a disaster so um but just just a lot of fun good people and uh and a way to feel at home still